Hey guys, today is a $24 makeup tutorial. It was around $24 with tax, it would have brought it to 25. And today I have a special surprise because I'm gonna show you the new way I've been contouring. And it's just like a fun tutorial that is gonna be super fast, super easy. It's a bit glowy for the summer, so if you're tan, your skin's gonna pop out more, you're gonna look more refreshed. I'm also gonna show you a technique I've kind of been doing on the side of my cheek. So without further ado, let's get into today's $24 makeup tutorial. So everything that I'm gonna be using, I've had to open and utilize. I've had to test it out, see if I like it. So far, my favorite is this e.l.f. concealer. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it very well here in the viewfinder. I'm starting to hit like glass there because I use it so much. But I noticed that whenever I wear this makeup look, I get a lot of compliments about how did you get your skin so radiating? How did you get it so vibrant? This is really the secret. I just very much take care of the skin in the morning. I do a complete routine, wash it, cleanse, moisturize. And then this e.l.f. concealer is just really, really powerful as far as coverage. And I put it all over. This is kind of like my foundation and my concealer. I know a lot of you guys follow rules with makeup, but this is kind of the only thing I've been putting on my face lately. So let's get this tutorial started. I have here everything. I'm gonna list the prices down below too so you guys can go find your colors. And I got all this makeup with a mix of two from the Dollar Tree. I got everything else at Rite Aid. Um, CVS carries the same exact makeup as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, my skin is kind of like already dewy. I'm just going to show you the techniques that I use and then you guys can refine it with your own techniques at home. So I have this bronzer. Uh, the color is 805. I'll put that to the camera. Hopefully it does focus. 805. Uh, it's not going to. I guess it's because it's a little bit dim in the room today. But what I do is I get right here where my lip ends and I kind of draw what I call a faux cheekbone or what I would like to be sort of the outline of the cheekbone that I like. Okay and then I just sort of do patting motions. And if you have time in the morning, the more that you can devote to this defined jawline is awesome. I do have another trick lately where I get right here and I kind of just lightly graze it. That way, if you're also taking pictures, let's say there's a birthday party you go to or something, it'll capture like this darkness and it won't be harsh. I take this flat kabuki-like brush. This is also from Rite Aid. And as you can see, very, very flat on the bottom. It's super dirty and I'm so sorry for that. Um, and then it has this angular point, which I really like, cause you could really get into your cheekbone and carve it slightly oily due to the bronzer that I have on. So I'm sorry. And what I do right when I get to this bone here, I apply pressure and I kind of swivel it. Gives it a more natural look, um, also more airbrushed. And then I use like the fluffier side and I just really press it into the skin. In pictures, you know, even if you're taking them for Instagram or social media, you'll notice that it's, if you do this technique and you press into your skin and you apply a lot of pressure, it tends to look more natural as to when you just swipe it and you're fast and you do circular motions. When you press the makeup, I tend to feel even throughout the day when you apply powder, it looks more defined and it looks like you were born with it and more lived in. So here too, I'm a little bit shiny because here in California, it's starting to hit 90 degrees during the morning. <laughs> so I've been sweating just to let you know. It has nothing to do with the makeup. So as you can see, this is the side that's not done. My cheek looks very weak. Okay. okay. Let's just be honest, right? No, I'm just kidding. So the next technique is I take my Magic Elf Concealer. It's called the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I believe they've come out with a matte version since then. I just have not seen it at CVS. So my new technique is I get right here and I create parallel lines. I do about four with the fourth one being the smallest. So there's a cascade. Excuse me, I'm a bit congested this morning. And then the same thing. I don't swipe, 
because it tends it tends to leave like a mark of like you almost painted yourself you look like a picasso almost there are a few times where i swipe but it's very very light it's just to move the color along and then right where i meet it i also do kind of these soft brushes on the skin do you see how the light especially in like photos um, when you press it there's a bit of a there's a large difference in the cheek here and the weak cheek there I do have kind of like weak cheeks unless I define it it's like okay and then right here there is usually a color definition where I'm tan here and it's light what I'll do later is I'll take my bronzer and I'll just go over this really lightly with a different fluffy loose brush which is not here because it's not part of the $24. This brush was about $6 even with tax it came out to about $6.18 so I'll put all the prices below that way you can see. So so far I've used three things just three to define if you go on a trip all you have to do is bring these three and you have like almost a full face with some chapstick and your eyebrow duo or whatever. Next trick I've been doing to get this like glowy summer feel, end of spring feel is I'll take, these lipsticks are awesome. They're so moistureful, but they retain their color. This is Secret Muse. This is by Wet n Wild. I just love their little lipsticks that they've had classically for decades. You guys can, I mean, they're, they're all black. They just say wet and wild on a clear cover. These are also at CVS and Rite Aid. What I do is I hit right where my nose ends, this whole spot here, just to look more dewier and like alive. I'll hit right there with the lipstick, okay? Because it has a bit, like I said, it retains its color and it has a bit of this moisture that doesn't really stick to you. It's almost like a cheek balm. So I use the lipsticks as a cheek balm. Same brush, you can clean it. Sometimes I'll just rub it on the palm of my hand. And again, pressing, pressing into the skin. It kind of fakes this glow and this like healthy type of look like you eat. <laughs> Unlike me, I eat like a bird. It just, it looks like it's fuller, okay? It looks uh, a little bit more lived in and the, the pressure is really important. I also tend to do like my nose with this pink color cause it just looks like I got some sun, all right? And I'll show you the difference here on my weak side. My left side is my weak side. I just lightly, lightly dab this lipstick. Okay, you see the difference of the lift? And I pat, really get in there. I mean, what I do is I like push the makeup and you already look 10 times more alive than you did. Okay, <laughs> let's call it the alive look today. The next thing I got from the Dollar Tree, they had these voluminous mascaras for a dollar. I used to get these for like 16 bucks at Vons and they have them now in some dollar bins. I don't know if they were like recalled or anything, but just because it fits with our budget video today, I just always have like the wand of this. I feel like they make your lashes look fake and not that we like the fake look all the time, right? But it's not an unsettling fake. It just looks gorgeous, um, really not tried upon. It looks like your lashes are just naturally fixed. What I used to do and what my aunt taught me when I was little was hold your eye taut and then wiggle. And you guys all know this technique, but I like really get in there. I apply pressure and then I almost curl the lashes with the wand simultaneously or I'll blink, but that tends to leave marks. And as you can see for the summer, you don't really have to do a lot. You don't have to do a lot to uh, make a statement. Uh, you could just have a few pinks, a little bit of golds, and you already look pretty put together. So another technique I'm using is the same matte thing, and I use it all over the eyes. I know you guys are like, no eyeshadow, but this brush, like you literally just need these five things and 
you could have a full summer look. This is good to wear at the beach too because it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup and you can jump in the water and you still look like yourself, right? All right, ladies? <laughs> it's weird when you have like turquoise purple and then you get in the water and then you come out and you look like a goblin. It's actually happened to me before, that's why I speak of it. And uh, a little bit more mascara. Sometimes there's this trick that um, I kind of heard about through makeup videos, makeup tutorials, where the, the wand here, if you get enough product off, and I do this, I like, I'll just sit and take all the, the black on the rim. I would take it up to my eyebrow. I'll get a little closer here to the viewfinder and I'll just lightly use it as a brush and it puts all my eyebrow hairs in place. Lightly, even if it's black, it's okay because you're doing such fine strokes that it doesn't really even matter. Nobody can see it unless they get all, all up in your grill and like, you got some little black fuzz, right? And then another technique is I'll use my finger like this and I'll really, really get in there, just massage it. And I'm gonna do it on this other eye. I'll do it just right here, right here on the center, but I won't touch any other part. And I don't know why, but it'll make like your eye right here, the eyeball, it'll stand out. And it's really nice when you have a pink just right on that center, just um, Today's tutorial involved these five things. I'm gonna show them again. Here's the four and here's the brush for $6. I'll list everything down below. Again, hit up Rite Aid, they're all on one wall. All you have to do is go to the Wet n Wild and grab the Secret Muse. The number, if you guys just wanna remember, is 560B. It's called Secret Muse. I hope you have a great day. This was my Summer Glow tutorial for $24.